In last week's video, we explored Clangollan Railway, ate delicious seaside fish and chips in Barmouth, explored the town and got caught in the rain many, many times. In this video, I want to show you the fairy tale village of Port Merion, a castle that dates back to the 13th century and what I think is possibly the best place for Welsh afternoon tea ever. So subscribe if you'd like and let's get started. This is the Welsh breakfast. It looks a lot like an English breakfast. <laughs> Morning. I hope you're well. Um, so, we've just come to the Welsh town of Harlech. Harlech. Um, this morning, and we're here to see this. Don't know if you can see it properly, but it's um, a castle. A castle that dates back to the 13th century and it's one of the oldest and best preserved examples of this sort of architecture, medieval architecture. So since it's on our way to Port Merion, come here and have a look. The first stop on our day trip was a place called Harlech Castle. It's a grade one listed fortress built by Edward I during his invasion of Wales in 1282. It's incredibly well preserved and has beautiful views across the beach and Snowdonia peaks. We're now in the castle. It usually costs seven pounds 30 for adults, but today we were about to leave because um, we wanted to head up to Port Merion, but the gentleman chased us um, outside and basically let us know that today the castle viewing is free. So we thought, well, since it's free, we might as well. Um, but it's usually seven pounds 30 for adults and five pound 40 for children. The next place that we visited was the fairy tale village of Port Marion, where there was a lot of choir singing going on. This is Port Marion, and yes, it's Wales. <laughs> um, although the village was based off an Italian village, um, Port. Portofino and it was very popular with Paul McCartney actually so he used to come here quite often in the 1950s. It was built in 1925 and the buildings most of them are still as they were back then and I would say if you want to just visit somewhere a little bit different on the Welsh coast I would definitely recommend popping into Port Merion. Place called Rug Estate, which is a farm shop, a bison grill, and a takeaway, and they're supposed to do Welsh food as well. They had everything from delicious barra brith to Welsh cakes, but we had afternoon tea in mind for the final stop of our trip a Welsh afternoon tea. So we found a place called the Cottage Tea Room and we ordered the Welsh afternoon tea, which comes with Welsh cakes, a scone, bar of brick, which is like a Welsh tea, sort of like a tea loaf, and then sandwiches on the top. If you're looking for somewhere very reasonably priced for afternoon tea, then do try the cottage tea rooms in Clangollen. We got Welsh cakes, finger sandwiches, scones, and homemade bar of brith for just $10.95 for two people. The tea was Welsh brew too, so it was strong, which is a good thing. 
the bar of brith, which I'm showing you here, was a very thick, chunky slice, and the Welsh cakes were also delicious. But if you really want to push the boat out for Welsh afternoon tea, then I can't recommend this next place enough. The tea rooms, which sit on the River Conway, have actually been here for over 500 years and there are photos and knickknacks all around the cosy place. It's worth coming here for the Barra Brith alone, honestly. The slices were packed full of flavour. You can actually see like the raisins or sultanas. The scones were still warm, fluffy and served with homemade jam and cream. It was honestly perfect. and Welsh cakes and afternoon tea. There was fresh, freshly baked scones there with homemade jam. I'm oh, sorry, it's really, really bumpy. Um, and yeah, so it was absolutely lovely. I can 100% recommend that tea shop. Um, I just thought I would sign off my little video around Wales. Um, I hope that you really enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you in my next video. So, so, so.